Pride, it's your boy Amari, back again with another reaction video. Today, we are getting into another Stray Kids video. This is the music video for their song, Circus. I haven't heard this song yet, but this music video is on their Stray Kids Japan official YouTube channel. So, I'm guessing it's in Japanese. I don't speak Japanese either, so that doesn't really change much for me, but it is something of interest to note. Hopefully you guys are having a great day and hopefully you guys enjoy this video. In the meantime, I'll be seeing you guys on the other side. Okay, so I don't have subtitles, so I'm gonna I'm, I'm not gonna know anything that's being said in this video. Even though it sounded like he just said megafauna, which he also did like some some beastly arms, so that that could be a part of that there. But regardless, I don't know what's gonna go on, so I'm gonna focus mostly on the visuals. And the music. As far as the intro, the intro was really cool because they had like beatboxing as the the core element of the intro. Similar to say some Justin Timberlake songs because a lot of Justin Timberlake songs are produced by Timbaland, which is a producer who uses a lot of beatboxing in uh, his production style, which I think is really dope. So that was really cool. And then they had like some phasers and, and risers over top of that to just, you know, add an element of increasing intensity. So yeah, really cool. But for the people who like really like me to break down the lyrics, this is not gonna be one of those videos. Okay, uh, that was really cool. The uh, every everything cutting out and then the, the little whisper section, super cool. This video is is intense. I love this concept. One of them has blonde hair and like red and blue dyed tips, which of course is making me think Harley Quinn. And they have like the shapes and stuff painted on their face. They just look really cool. One of them has like a, a corset, a leather corset on with like the tie. They, it looks cool. This video visually is very stunning and they sound really good, but that effect of just silence and him whispering, like, you know, chills dog, chills. <laughs> Okay, this this production is really interesting because the what I assumed was the core section, which is what we went into post the last pause into this second verse section. There are a lot of different production elements at play, but more specifically, it's it's genre bending in that that chorus section is very hip hoppy, which makes sense, but they're not really rapping. They're singing over it. And then in the, the verses where they're rapping, the production is more of like a pop inspired feel. And I think this is the group that you guys told me, like a, a trio of their members produces all of their stuff and writes all their stuff, which I think is super dope. I am so big on artists, um, one, creative freedom to, to do that, but two, artists who are multi-talented enough to get 
on the other side of the mic or on the other side of the studio who, you know, have their fingers in all aspects of their sound. And they, they killed this. This is like a really interesting concept. There's a there's a dichotomy to it. And so the the fact that it is it's rapping over the pop instrumentation and they're singing over the hip hop instrumentation. I'm pretty sure that's on purpose. Like that that's it's too big of a coincidence for me to assume that it just happened. So um, I wanted to give them credit on that because that's really cool. Okay, another thing in that section right before the this looks in, so intense. <laughs> that section right before the chorus comes in is really cool because the production on that slows down obviously um, a lot of the instruments are stripped away and it's mostly just this pulsating um, keyboard with them singing over it and then when the kick drum comes back in it it starts to build and so it um in a similar way to how the intro got increasingly more intense and then you came into the song this does that, and that's a common EDM technique where you're constantly building the intensity throughout the song. This doesn't have like drops in the traditional sense. Uh, they kind of have anti-drops with these these music cuts and then the whisper and then the, the chorus. It's just a cool dynamic piece production-wise. Stand up! Magoy, Mahira, Welcome to the song! Oh, another thing that kind of sounds like a an elephant right there. Like when they first come in and the uh, there was an elephant on screen. Maybe that's why I thought that. But whatever that synth was, it sounded like an elephant trunk. I don't I don't know what an elephant's trunk noise is called. Is that a scream? Is that a, I I don't know what it's called. But it sounded like an elephant. And so having the elephant on the uh, the screen plus this song being called Circus, like that's a really cool production touch. Okay, all right, all right, they're going in. They're going in. This is this song is so great. Ah, uh, ah, uh, sorry, I gotta compose myself for a second so I don't, you know, spend the rest of the day talking about this. Um, yeah, obviously, that that little uh pre chorus section I was talking about before, they brought that back for that bridge section. Actually, we might be still continuing on the bridge, but I just had to pause before they they did some other mind blowing thing and then. Again, they did another tempo change, another beat switch, so to speak, giving you a new and different vibe, which is kind of like the circus where you go to the circus, you're seeing all of these different things, you know, you got the bearded lady, the strongest man, a bear riding a tricycle, all types of craziness is going on. And that's kind of what this song is like. So I think that that's really cool. And then like you had like some clownish joker type laugh. So cool. This 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 is so cool. I do wish I knew what they were saying, so I'm probably gonna go look up the lyrics of this song after this, or one of you guys might drop like the full translated lyrics in the comments. I don't know, that happens sometimes. But yeah, this this is really, really cool. <laughs> Oh, 
another thing. Ugh, people are gonna be mad I'm stopping so much. This dance move. <laughs> when they did that, it reminds me of um, in the Joker movie, because you know, clowns, circus, whatever. In the Joker movie where he does the, the thing with his, yeah. That's, that's kind of what that reminds me of. I don't know if that was intentional. I'm gonna say it is, but maybe it's not. Maybe I'm completely off there, but I, I don't care. That's what it reminded me of, and it relates to the circus, because clowns. So, another dope, just little piece right here. Especially because it was on the clownish laugh section. Like, I'm, that headcanon has been accepted. So, even if you say that's not what happened, that's, that's what happened. Like, even if they say that that's not the intention behind that dance move, that, that was the intention behind that dance move. Okay, okay. Okay, that that was that was fire. Like my goodness, they killed that concept. And at the end there, I don't know if I just missed this throughout the video. Actually, that that explains something else. There was more of them. Like that I think that they were like dancing with duplicates of themselves at the very end there, which also explains I think the section where they're performing in the like little circular ring and they're also watching themselves from, from the sideline. I just thought it was like half the group, half the group, but now that I'm thinking back on it, that's probably what it was. It was probably the two duplicate versions of themselves. I don't know if that relates to their like storyline between their music videos or anything like that, but uh, I thought it was cool, really cool. But overall, that video was awesome. That song was awesome. They did a bunch of different things. And like I said, I think that those different um, seemingly unrelated musical things that they did but weaved through into the one cohesive song is very much reminiscent of how a circus is or just any type of like festival thing where there's a bunch of different unrelated things happening simultaneously at the same time to create the overall experience that is the festival or circus and so yeah, from top to bottom, I feel like they, they killed this concept. So let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section down below. Thank you for being here with me. Definitely make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Not to miss any more content like this. And I'll be seeing all of you guys here on the channel next time.